Now, I'm sure you have questions. Yeah. You may ask them. Okay, where'd your pants go? Ha-ha! <laughs> well, actually... Wait, were you ever wearing pants? <laughs> there you go! There you go! They were never there in the first place! I've just now got a viewing triangle. Also, why do you have an eerie blue glow coming from your knees? Oh, that's these bad boys. Oh, those are some bad boys. Thank you. I call the left one what? left bad boy, and I call the right one Babacus. <laughs> I appreciate the difference, but it just seems like such a mouthful. <laughs> I know, left bad boy is like a lot, but you know, it's what they wanted. You, do you just short form it to LBB? LBB and Badicus. <laughs> Badicus sounds like the lamest Roman Empire. So yeah, I decided to try a little bit of uh, Thief, and I was running around the place doing some uh -huh. stabbing, just thought I'd go down this road that I've not really been down yeah, okay. Doing some hop, skippity, skippity stab, and then I found like a little boulder. Skippity climb. stab. A skippity stab, you know. Skippity doo skippity murder. Oh, I thought you were going in the toilet direction. I mean, everyone is technically all the time. Well, I mean, yeah, just at different varying rates. It's like how people are always dying. Oh my god, that is a port crystal. I think you should go down there somehow. I, I mean, it doesn't look like it's necessarily a safe. Why is there a port? I got here and I was like, you know what? I mean, this this seems mysterious enough to investigate with good good buddy good buddy card old pal, and then immediately port crystal. <laughs> what is it though? I can't see anything else. It's too, oh, it's a nest. Ow! It is officially a nest. That's a big nest though. Like that's not like that doesn't look like a griffin nest. Is it a griffin? Nest? I just broke my ass on camera. I'm so sorry. I I did recommend padding. So does that mean that the griffin has like taken a port crystal? Taken a port? Is this really just a fucking is and a fairy stone? Well, that's nice. Oh, this part of the map has an actual label. And is it a lot of gold? What's it called? Oh, forested griffin's nest. Yeah, I think it might be a griffin's nest. Yeah, I think nest. it might be. I think it might be a griffin's nest. Well, that's quite nice. Detoxifying to cut. But where's the griffin? It's nighttime. Griffins don't have to sleep at night but also before we get too far like look at this i i, I tried it on a oh, whim yeah, because cool. i figured that i would like it probably the least out of nearly every vocation see i think i liked it and it's just this kind of movement in dragon's dogma feels like a cheat code yeah yeah but do you want to see something even better than that right is that not insane this yeah, little burst release is so Oh my like god, I surely, fucking love surely it! Surely standing that is just faster oh. than sprinting it for the amount of stamina it costs, too. Yeah, genuinely, I just move along like this. It's That's absolutely crazy. ridiculous. And with the glowy blue blades yeah. we found, oh my god. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit impressed. And then I can get dirty. Okay. <laughs> There's a little fire in the distance. Is I think that... it's an enemy holding a torch. Is that threatening or is it a It's, is it it's someone holding a torch. I think it's an enemy. I don't think I pawns tell. get torches. It's it a pile a of it's a Okay. It's a with a flaming weapon. Oh, it's flaming mace fighting a uh, exploding zombie. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, it exploded as you landed. I feel like I shouldn't have come here there's, at night time. Oh, okay. There's just a fight over there. I'm so quaint. I'm so quaint. That looks I'm like a so, cliff. That looks like a cliff. Oh my god. I'm so quaint, man. Did you know? I'm just the quaintest. Quaint motherfucker. God, it's nice to be able to kill like little dudes. Look at you. You're so quaint kicking that skeleton. What the hell is going on? Why is, yeah, why is this just like a mapless part of the map? Yeah, I'm really confused. I mean, I guess it's sort of like the hidden village was on, 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 on the right side where we had to like go all the way around off road to find and it. And the thing is, because these blades are mainly magic, all the magic I have from being a sorcerer actually really helps. But yeah, because I guess it just boosts the element. Oh my part. God, look, I mean, just, oh my God. Yeah. Man. I can finally understand why any, why someone would play would play Thief. All it took was playing Thief. All it took was playing Thief and giving it a fair go, and now I totally get it. I don't think there's a single vocation I wouldn't enjoy playing in this game. Oh. They're all just such interestingly unique play styles. Hey, that that rock gave you a vocation ring. I've not been back since like rank one, so I've got all of rank two, three, and now four's stuff to look at. Yeah, that would explain why you um only have three skills. And one of them is not doesn't physically work. And one of them is become dirty. Well, yeah, one of them has become dirty, and one of them them is touch your swords for a second. Hey, the touch my swords for a second would be good if they weren't already ice swords. But you also wouldn't have it equiped if you had anything else. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, wow. look, at, look at you making deductions. <laughs> you know, as eerie and spooky as this is at night, I would kind of like it to be day so I could see what the hell is, what, where, what the, where the hell I am. Oh, cool, there's lightning happening. What the fuck is this? <gasps> a camp! Some sort of weird camp. It has a map marker on your mini map, so I, I want to run. I want to know what it's called. I just can't believe I did. In no world did I expect to find this much 
beyond this mysterious ledge. A, a griffin nest that would go into an unmarked forest? All right, daytime should help here, because then we can see. Rest till morning. Till morning. Rest till morning. Uh-huh. I guess it's just nighttime. Oh my god, that's so creepy then. Oh, we're probably, we're, we're like, I mean, think about it. There's like an elf city in, in a part of the forest. Maybe this is like a magical forest. It is the Misty Marshes. It's not on the map. Why are you say like that's a fantastical name? Ooh, the Misty Marshes. Well, I mean, it, it's, it literally is like invisible on the map with like a fog overcast on it. And it's just this massive expanse that we just have been walking through slowly. I think it is technically day. It's not being swam by undead, it just is this, like, opaque. Yeah, I think that's just the way the, the Misty Marsh is missed. I, I can't tell if this feels like progress, or I'm just clambering over the, the boundary wall. It, I mean, I, I have to, I mean, I don't know, but I feel like he definitely went off the original path by jumping for the chest. No idea what it could be this way. This feels like it's taking me somewhere. Yeah, it does feel like it's purposefully climbable, at least. Excuse me? I think you might have found the end. Yeah, what I'm getting from this is this place is designed to be spooky gloomy, and I just managed to poke my head out of the non-spooky gloomy part and the day return. I do think so, yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, what? Thank, thanks for doing a cool flip. That was nice. I appreciated that. What? What, what, what did I just... What? Does Thief do like a little flip up? That's amazing! Oh my god! Why do you even do that? That's so unnecessary. Incredible. It's just like a Dungeons and Dragons rogue player just being like, I do a backflip. Oh, can I just make it happen every time? Please tell me I can make it happen every time. I'd like to roll this climb with athletics. <laughs> Why can you just, like, use a basic ability and kill everything? Yeah, it does, like, I'm, I'm barely into this vocation. I've got the wrong stats for it. It's just, it's just hilarious. No problem with anything, but the leeches are weirdly, weirdly taking some time. <laughs> Finally, it's not me. Oh, they're still on the floor. I love that you've just walked up, like, I'll help you up. My nature is kind-hearted. That looks like very precariously placed explosive barrels next to breakable pillars. That sounds... Oh my god. Like an ogre, perhaps? Like an ogre. Oh my god, okay, that was so I spooky. Mean, it is just like, it's just like a normal ogre, at least, right? It's not like the fancy ogre. Yeah, but the fact he was just clinging yeah, to the uh, ceiling, making little noises. Oh yeah, I was I was so weirded out by, by just watching you approach a boss fight by climbing. <clears throat> Why does he do so much damage just by doing that? Just stab, man. Just stab. Goddamn daggers. Just, just stab. It's fair enough, really. Oh, I've, what? You are not on its head. <laughs> Never ask how an ogre moves. <laughs> he is not like that. He is really not liking that. Oh god! Are you seriously doing that right now? His ass is just covered. Look at that! Oh yeah, I think god. I think you might have given him a few butt scars. Oh my god! This is so mean. This is not bad. Next, we're just gonna Beyblade down his spine. Oh, I would love to. I wonder if you do get something like that. Oh my god! You can attach with the spike move. Oh, that's very cool. Right? I think that's what I did. So if I run up... I think so. Yeah, you basically just grabbed yeah. this <laughs> Oh, where's he gone? What? He's gone. He's had enough of this. He recognized he's going to die, and then he, he tried... Oh, to my God! This guy's just killing me. He's so low. Do the counter. Do the counter. Do the counter. Okay. No, 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 no. You misunderstand. I did it too early. Now I must help this <laughs> player up. I feel like I should change change that move on you, if I'm completely honest. Yeah, I mean, it, it blocks, which is good for survival, I guess. Give me something glorious. Eye crusher. Eye crusher. That seems that seems awfully specific. It does a little bit, doesn't it? I bet you it's good against Cyclops. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> but everything has eyes. In in technicality, it should be least effective against uh, Cyclops because they have one less eye to crush. But they have the biggest eye, don't they? Oh, they do have the biggest eye, the highest value eye. The largest volume of eye to crush. That's so funny. <laughs> That's so niche. Who's over <laughs> here like, you know, I really, I really could do with like an anti-Cyclops weapon. I love using hammers and I can't help but feel like Cyclops should be gone. Oh shit! Oh god! <laughs> what? Can it's the arisen! Oh no! <laughs> Excuse me? What? My steamed hams! <laughs> I'm so confused! What the fuck, dude? Chase him down, bring him back, force him to do his job! I just want to change vocation, man! Have you left the building? Yeah, you can see him screaming through the walls! I think he went up that- oh, there he is, there he's going back in! Okay! My god! Sorry, I got really afraid for- I'm, I'm just- I'm, I'm on a lot of drugs, you see! Alright, what have I- what have I got? 
a lot of things, it would seem. Oh, an upgraded version of the thing you keep using. Extended range. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right, Helm Splitter. Oh, my God, it's the big spinny down. Oh, that's so cool. That really is so cool. Press it again, to detonate. It's C4. Oh, you can put it in a... Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Weak point targeting thing for climbing. Concussive step. Oh, he's an explosive blast to withdraw from the point of detonation. Now I'm going to go back to Melv. Oh, for God's sake. Did it touch the ox cart? Free ogre. It's one of the greatest lessons I've learned playing melee is if you just attack them where they stand near the ox cart, it's just gone so fast. <laughs> Okay. What the fuck was that? I don't know. Why did you just do like a like a, what? I'm so perplexed by. I think your character might not be acrobatic enough to be a. Oh my god! You can't just do the two things you did and then do that. Oh. My that's uh, that's pretty cool. Is it just me, or does this do an absolute metric ton of damage? I feel like it's because you're getting weak points with it. Like that's got to be what it's for. Oh, unless it. I, mm. I have to wonder if elements work like they do in Monster Hunter, where fast hits make element better. Oh, you can do the ensnare to like pull them over if they're if they're off balance. Okay, yeah. So it's so it's like fighters get or, or like warriors pushing on people, but you can do it from rain. <laughs> Why am I just so floppy? You're just you're just learning dexterity. It's like just so floppy. It, it's hard for a mage out in this world that turned into a sorcerer and now has decided to be a thief. <laughs> I'm just so confused. Where's the where's the boy? It's just a tornado now. Okay. Oh! Don't stab him right in the ass. Well, he's already dead, so... I guess. Why have you taken a steak of him? You wanted to eat some ogre. It doesn't feel like edible creature. It's a bit too close to human shape. Like you wouldn't eat minotaur beef. Hey, minotaur beef I think is acceptable. We're back at the fairy tale cottage. Why do they just live here, by the way? Like, there's so much shit in this forest. Because Muradin sent them away, right? So I assume he just wants them in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, but I mean, like, why Why can't they be, like, in a city? Is there, like, See, some fair, sort of yeah, Grandma fairy? does just go on walks, and, like, ten feet out the front door is an army of wolves, knackers, and goblins. So it's like, hmm. Like, unless there's some nefarious reason where it's actually dangerous for her to exist in a city or something, like... Like, why has why she been sent but, here specifically? ladies and... Also, there's garlic outside. They're afraid of vampires. <laughs> but, ladies and gentlemen, we've had a rather genius idea to this little conundrum of not having enough bucks. Ooh. Behold! Fulminous shield! Again! <laughs> and it cost me so much. It didn't cost you anything. It cost me at my heart. <laughs> <laughs> so we figured, you know, when you send a pawn back, you can give it an item to give to the owner of the Arisen. Well, Cotton takes Cotton Pawn, sends Cotton Pawn back with his world's version of Fulminous Shield, because he doesn't care about major sorcerer fancy shenanigans. Yeah. And then Cotton comes back, Pawn Cotton comes back, with real Cotton's Fulminous Shield, gives it me from My Cotton shield. Pawn Cotton, you and now I have an extra Fulminous shield. shield. And some beetle. I didn't give you those, but you have those. No, but you know, I want to use them. So I'm really hoping that she's okay with three. Wait, wait, is her grandmother still out? Well, she's not in the room, so I'm assuming so. I love how her grandmother just went out from the time it took you to start giving her books to the time it took you to stop giving your books. Yes. Yes, that is. Yes. Well, then I guess it'll have to do. I'm afraid a little gold on my own. Oh, you just don't have reward. Okay. okay what, what is? What does this do? Turquoise ring. That's actually a new ring. Is that what the reward is? Your, your nice blue ring. Proves the wearer's friendship with Trisha, daughter to a sorcerer of renown. Do you think we bring this to the sorcerer? Maybe. I mean, all it does is prove friendship, right? It doesn't do anything. Maybe so... find her grandmother and be wearing the ring. Oh, visit Trisha in a few days' time. I think we should be wearing it when we do that. A few moments later. It is a bit weird that we just sort of went into this house, waited for the adult to leave, and then started, like, giving the child books. Well, you know, learning is bad in this world, just... so we gotta, we gotta do it. Uh, what? Okay. Okay. Oh, cool. She's magicking things. Excuse that... me? That is, is she actually that, that, doing nation's I fucking death knell? Oh my god. What is happening? Holy shit! Not again. Oh, she's probably- Oh, the old woman's magic as well! Yeah, see, that I, that I figured. Are they both mages? Okay, so they're fighting. Exhaust Trisha's magic reserves. Oh, so she's she's pro she probably like has a berserk thing where like- Who are you attacking? We're, we're attattacking Trisha. <laughs> Plain magic is a tuning. Oh, maybe she's too like naturally talented, so that's why she's not allowed to learn. That she's she's dangerous, so she's got to be kept away from spell books, and that's why she's out here. And we just sort of gave her the means to teleport. What is happening? I think we shouldn't have given her good books. Oh no! Why is she screaming in cat? Oh. If we'd given her all five, would she be casting all five? If we didn't give her this one, do you think she could still cast this? Oh my god! 
She doesn't seem to be enjoying this, though. Yeah, that's it. Pin her to the ground. Did, did I do it? Is this... I think I think that has done it. Thank you for wrestling my granddaughter to the ground. I could never do that. She was just hovering around with Grandma. I don't know what she was trying to achieve. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't, yeah. It's absolutely grateful for her aid. We didn't do yes. anything, right? No, yeah. We did nothing to contribute to uh, this. Not, no responsibility at all. We just happened to show up here again. Let's leave for another week. I love that we gave her some books, ran just up the road from her house, camped for a day, ran back in, tackled her and now we're gonna run back up the road and and camp for a day also like this is all our fault like we're just causing problems oh there we go see all's well that ends well we let her actually learn magic yeah but it, it seems like this has happened before and they just changed how they're gonna deal with it this time i mean the way that they were dealing with it might have helped magic's all out of control i learned a sort of technique yeah the i think meteors I always wanted to learn magic. I love that Grandma just paused in the doorway because we started talking to Trisha. <laughs> now she just stood with the door. Oh, sorry, one her. moment. Yes, I, I won't interrupt. I'd like to teach you a special one. I mean, a bit bit rude to assume. Conjurer's jottings. Is she an actual but, meister? I mean, it seems a bit rude for her to assume she can teach you anything already, right? Okay, maybe she can't. home detailing a remarkable spell for sorcerers. Use it to learn Meteoron! She, I thought at most she was going to be the mage one. But she also gave us the mage staff, yeah. Excuse me? Confusion, but acceptance? Oh my god, yes! <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, I'm so glad we did the book thing! Yeah, that's great. She just learned Meteor in about five seconds between conversations. Yeah, she wrote it down on a scroll for us. Okay, so there are two of her. I'm, I... Who's the second one? <laughs> Who is the second one? You saw me the other one's meanie. But you also have a technique? Okay. Enchanter's Almanac. Wait, so is she the Mage Meister? I know. Oh, it's a dude! Oh, I think that's Grandpa! Why is her, Why are those two people married when they look identical and have a name that is one letter apart? That's really, really weird. <laughs> where do they sleep? Those two beds. But then where does the girl... Like, the girl sleep? What? I don't think Eno stays here. He, he goes out every night and drinks. A term dying in Rackle Spell for mages. Yeah, this is the mage one. Yeah, there you go. Celestial paella. Yeah, celestial paella. Celestial paella. Let it deliciously burn on the pan. <laughs> celestial pa Okay. In no world did I expect this to go the way that it has gone, if I'm completely honest with you. How is this two meisters? And then and then also I know. So the sorcerer has two. Yeah, the fault lies with you for going for a walk in the forest. Oh, that's why he sent her away and forbid her to learn magic because her mom had the same problem and he's like oh that's actually quite sad well somebody's teaching her shouldn't shouldn't we tell the sorcerer so that he also can come help like the reason he sent her away was was for fear of that right where the hell is this going to be trisha or the grandma but in either case where the hell do they want to go it's it's going to be i know <laughs> it's just the grandpa yeah take it from me okay yeah, where do you want to go? I'd like to walk to Batal. Oh, that's not far. I just want to go to Melv. No, you want to go to Melv? Why do you want to go to Melv? I want to buy some ballista bolts. <laughs> I want to buy some ballista bolts. It's for teaching the young one magic. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my oh, god. This is, oh. Oh, is that grandma? No, that's a rock. Oh, that's a boulder! Jesus Christ! I wouldn't stand there. <laughs> oh, grandma made it. I sort of wish I didn't tell. I sort of wish I didn't say that was a rock, and and it just, I just want to know how much that would have hurt you. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. I just think it would have been funny. Give me 120 rip crystals and some flowers. It was a pleasant walk. I don't know how I'm going to get back. Have all my money. Okay, back to Vanworth. Now, a couple things while we're in town. What are they? Oh my god! <laughs> Am I okay? I think you might have dragon spike on it! Is that, is that what that is? <laughs> because I do appear to be quite, um... That was so scary! Like, I was <laughs> wanted to check out it because I thought I saw her have red eyes. <laughs> and it does look like she is, like... Flashing red. I mean, right? I think she might just have orangey eyes. Yeah, look, I swear on his eyes are flashing red. I mean, that's what it said in the tutorial. Like, look out for evil, evil signs. Well, that's why I'm saying I'm not sure about her, is because there's quite a clear difference there. Well, I don't think there's any harm in uh, doing a safety shuffle, is what I'm thinking. Sure. So genuinely creepy seeing you stood behind her, like, well, I'm fine. I feel fine. I feel excellent, Master. Please check the other pawns, though. I think you're going, evil icon. Goodbye. Oh. Now we'll look to the border check. Okay, I mean, you could, like, bring me back to life first. No, I'll bring you back to life at the border check. But what if you get beset upon by, like, a dragon? Oh, no. Oh, shit. What's not a dragon? You know, 
Let's test it out. Oh, I missed this. Oh, is it? Is it? It's another non-quick spellable interest. Oh, and I love the little balls of fire that go around you as you cast it. Oh, then the hover up into the air. Oh, that's a great animation. And. Okay, that does quite a bit of damage. Oh! That does a lot of damage, I think. Do you think that might have destroyed the ox cart, however? Oh, yeah, it did, it did, it did. Um... Yeah, it does make sense. That was a meteor shower. Where where the hell are we? What is this? Shenanigans! Right, <laughs> right in the middle. Oh, that's so icky. Oh, my God. Ew, oh. <laughs> it's, it's real icky. Oh, no. Like, it's like the worst. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to use a fucking fairy stone. Oh. And the best part is you can't port crystal in the checkpoint town, so you're gonna have to fairy stone back to Vernworth to take another arc. Yeah, and then try it again. Oh, it's disgusting. The, the amount of careful you have to be around arc cards is so scary. You're the first apprentice of mine with the gumption to do aught like this. You got the blaze. Oh, they're doing it. Wasn't the point that they had to do it like right outside of the the, the area that the forge was there? Look, all right, it stayed hot as she got back to Batal. And she can't go through the, the fast way either. Oh, see? Because there's a big door she can't get through. Grumpy Brock is all happy. Aw. <laughs> Several hours later. Thank you, SpongeBob time card man. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. I've been, I was watching you the, the, the thrall of the hours. Sword done. Cool. Oh, no problem. Restored regalia sword. It's not an Alrighty. actual weapon, so... Nah, you're not allowed to use that. It's a regalia sword. It's been restored to its former glory. It's for regaling. Report back to Roman? Who the fuck is Roman? Is just the guy who gave us the sword? No, Brant gave us the sword. It was just like a guard, wasn't it? No, it was just like a guard that walked up to us and gave us the sword. It was some random-ass guard. Oh, why, why... We just could have not mentioned the elf part. Just walked away with it. Why would we... What, does Dara need to tell us? I guess it's an elf dish. Does she have to help us cook the food? Yeah, so we have to go back to Elfland, get the dish. Are we just performing a back-and-forth diplomatic relationship between two, like, separate countries? It does feel like that, uh... Okay, then. I don't have the fairy stones for this kind of, for this kind of tomfoolery. Yeah, it'd be nice if they offered some. Oh, I have missed you, Levitate. Nothing quite replaces okay, that. Okay, so you started that sentence while looking at the goat sculpture, and I thought it was going to have to do with the goat sculpture. Oh, I have missed you, goat sculpture. <laughs> Nothing quite replaced I that. I just haven't seen you for way too long. Hey, do you think maybe um, Hugo is is released from prison now, right? Oh, wait, we were, we do have to go to prison anyways, right? Weren't we supposed to interrogate the assassin now? That's the phrasing. <laughs> There's a good reason for us to go to prison, you see. I've got an idea. What is it? Is it perhaps to, to set it as the quest? Ah, it would appear he was the other direction. Ah, look, see, I know. I've got a good idea which one he's in now. Turns out he's not in that hey, one. Hey, you. Oh, they haven't even changed your clothes. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> yeah, sure. Not, honestly, fuck it. Give him the gold. I want to know. I want to know why and what it does. <laughs> I just love that. It's just like, ah, I see you probably feel like good about yourself. Got me in prison for doing a bit of an assassination. Have some cheeky gold. <laughs> Damn, that's a badass line. Here's some money. Like, your situation seems fucked up, bro. I'm so perplexed by that. It's like, look, I'm not a snitch, but here, here, does this make up for it? Why is the solution to just give the, the assassin money? Yeah, I have an idea. Here's 5,000 gold. Do you think we could have just, like, opened the prison cell? Oh, it is connected to fucking Hugo! Finally! Wait, does that mean that bribing the, the, the lead jailer probably did nothing for us? I don't know. Ah, oh, report back to Manila. We're a little burning, okay. Oh my god, she's not even come back to the castle. It's just... She's still on the volcanic island. I just want... Use a fairy stone! Use a fairy stone. We've got to go to the elves. We've got to go to Vernworth. We've got to go to the volcanic. We've got to come back to Batal. I just, what, where do we get these all from? Yeah, they, it does seem like a lot of this stage of the story is travel far, do things. Where would you? It says here. Oh, oh my God, you are there. Okay. Hey, hey, how you doing? Wait, so she's not in the hot spring anymore. She just hasn't gone back to the palace. Oh, oh, secrets. Yeah, come on, tell me. I trust she'll be a prune juice. Oh, another assassin won't be sent to kill. That, I mean, I would have said that was probably likely. Surely from their perspective, what reason would we have to do this? Oh my god, she actually did give us a fairy stone. Oh, that's nice. Well, you know, we like to be a helpful lot. Excuse me, random guards? This is a very private conversation. I am now guarding this woman. You can move on. Leak information to the coral snakes. Well, there's coral snakes in the prison. There is coral snakes in the prison. There's a snake in my boot. Tell a member of the coral snakes that you... So, do we talk to Hugo? 
I mean, oh no, it's slightly different. What, what does it do if you? Okay, I mean, I guess it's just also in the prison. All right, elf. It's just there's just so much journeying happening. Like, I mean, I assume that they want you to like be doing side quests while you're doing this, but we sort of did like all of the side quests as we were moving along the map. Like, we've done a good chunk of this game. I feel like. Yes, Romy. Yes, we will. We, we will do that. Uh, I know where they are. Do you want me to point them to you? Do you want me to point? Do you want me to show them? Do you want? Do you want? We have found Gwynventure, in a manner of speaking. Pungent. Stew of oh, I hate that so much. Old, oh, you, old you fish don't like and apples in a thick paste. Old, you don't like old fish and apples paste stew. Uh, I mean, we probably have apples and fish. Rotten apples and rotten fish. Rotten apples. You do love putting rotten things in the storage. We, we probably have, have this that. entire game. We have put everything rotten in storage. Do you think this is actually going to come back to be a? a a 400 IQ move? I mean, I have to imagine you have at least one rotten apple and one rotten fish. Surely you have a rotten... You'd think you'd have a rotten apple. I mean, that one's ripe. Maybe we just wait a bit. Yeah, we have a ripen apple, so we'll take the ripen apple and then we'll uh, we'll just let it rot. Let's go sit on the bench outside for a bit. <laughs> yeah, let's just sit there letting <laughs> just, this apple just the, go off. The, it's one of those moments where, like, there's, like, there's some lovely bits of realism to this game, like the fact that the food does, like, spoil over time. And then there's moments of this where you just realize that in real life, this is just, I need to sit on this bench until this apple becomes rotten so I can make some stew for this dwarf. And I love that the arborist is here, like, yeah. Hmm. So it's like, this seems a little bit odd, <laughs> but I... I <laughs> Looking at us, like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Did that like, do it? Look, we got look I wanted to go visit my son. What's wrong with you? Where's the, where's uh, the it looks, it's still fine. It's pretty oh, ripe. It's still apple. just a ripened apple. Now I'm gonna stand this I wonder if some benches more. count for food. Oh, we did it! Maybe there we benches, go. Oh, okay, there, yeah, it, it just needed it just a needed moment. A little, it was almost there. It was. It was close. Yeah. That's so funny. I love, by the way. It's just occurred to me that, like, probably like 20 hours ago in this playthrough. There was, like, a, a dude who was following us suspiciously that we tackled to the ground. And then he was just like, you could put me in prison, or you could give me money and let me go. And we gave, or you could take my money and let me go. And we took his money, and it's not like come back to bite us in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, that is really true. What the hell? What? Are, you're in a mountain? I think your people, do, I don't know. It's part of the no, cookies. Why, she got, why is that? It's in her hand, like like through her hand. You live near water, though. There's a huge lake. Is there no fish in your sacred waters? I think I think I think this is like ancestor elves. It sounds like a really inappropriate question to ask someone. Do you have a fish in your sacred waters? <laughs> but I I think the idea is that their people before this specific place come from less fishy areas. What? Ing. Oh, I can't make it. God, oh, cooking. The power required. No! The stench of the fish and the apple that you sat on for three days. How are we going to get it to a... Before it... We have to fairy sound, don't Come, we? let us away to Patel. Uh, oh, do we just get to go? Oh, wait, is, is her father still going to... Yeah, her father's also following still. So are we just going to take everyone on a fucking fairy stone? Oh, yeah, you look, you throw the fairy stone while carrying someone! Oh, my God. Wait, does that mean you can pick up any random NPC and forcibly teleport them across the world? Well, I don't think you need to pick them up because uh, our other elf friend is also here. Yeah, yeah, but he's part of the party. Yeah, but so is she. But if you can teleport with anyone you're holding, then... She was also part of the party. He must be like, I just wanted to go just south of the village so and see my was... son. What the fuck? I'm so far away. <laughs> Where are you taking me, Arisen? It does occur to me that we're bringing, like, the leader of the elves who might have some, like, other problems with dwarves to the dwarf who has a problem with elves. I'm sure this will go fine. Multiple elves. <laughs> just stood in the back. Now where are we going? The cavern. Where's the cavern? I don't know. She's bringing us there. Straggle is... Ca we're off to a cave now? Wait, then why did we need the... Why did we need the bowl of the, of, of fish and apples? To get the dwarf to agree to let us take the scale cinder from the cavern. But why does he have to know if he spends his entire life in the forge? Like, this is the first time he hasn't been in the forge. I think it's the principle of the thing. Also, if we're going to rock up to the cavern where he is, then he might be like, What are you doing? Well, yeah, I mean, I guess if he's there right now, but why don't we just go there when he's not? Because I don't think Sarah wants to steal Scale Cinder from her dwarf friend slash master. But why does Sarah have to know in the first place? <laughs> why does Sarah even need to know? <laughs> why can't we just take this shit? It's the same reason, like, we didn't have to tell them this was for elves. Yeah, that one we could have got around. I just, I love so much that both elves are with us. It feels a bit excessive. If only we could also get the sun somehow. Yeah. I mean, he does have he does have the uh, travel missions as well. My so God, we just, could, just, we could have just the don't whole progress this. Yeah, just don't progress this quest for the rest of the game and just have the three of them with you forever. 
Oh, we are going to be sneaky. The food's a distraction. Wait, so she's okay with us stealing it to begin with? Unless it's like one of those like feigned like, oh, I'm so upset about this. I'm going to go stand in that corner for five minutes and pretend I'm not looking. So how do we get scale cinder? I assume there probably is scale cinder. This then? This powder? Is that scale cinder? Yeah. All right. Sort of green? Yeah, okay. Gather plenty of scale cinder. Well, you've gathered some for now. How much do we need? Is it the just question. said some, didn't it? Oh, oh, turn around, turn around. I saw some. Behind that box! Oh my god! When you were turning! Any more hidden scale cinders? Anything? I mean, now, now that we know they're doing that type of stuff. The sneaky! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, look at that! How much do we get is the question. I don't let's back something like, Oh, you didn't get enough scale cinders! So, well, goodbye, Abaha. Oh, I'm getting more! Yeah! Oh yeah, what? Sorry, why are you just Terminator running in? <laughs> Wait, I remember what we're doing! Oh. Well, well, father. And I am all- <laughs> Just start speaking elvish in the background. I wonder if this Empress plotline's gonna actually do anything. Oh, I know who the culprit will be. It'll be the, the big leader boy of the Coral Snakes. That'll be how you finally have a concentration with him, the one that escaped. Oh, we're being... I think we're being dumb. The Coral Snakes aren't gonna just, like, kill the Queen for fun. They're a bandit group. They're probably, like, being paid by Disa or, like, the Phasis guy because they want to remove her, right? Yeah, maybe. But I think, bottom line, Hugo's going to realize that the bandit leader was fine with killing the queen, and that's going to be his, like, oh, he is bad. See, that would be weird, because it seemed like his thing was just, like, no hurting children. Unless the queen is also a child, and I've misunderstood. I think he's under the impression they're kind of Robin Hoodie, whereas they're actually just kind of murdery. I think you could definitely make some make some arguments to convince someone of uh, killing the queen is a Robin Hoodie thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, prison boys. Please, for the love of God. Uh, it's not him. I gave myself moose and play nice. Oh, he's going vermin. I hope he doesn't assassinate anyone we care about. I hope, well, I mean, maybe he'll- Oh, yeah, look, there's a random coral snake. And a Seeker's yeah. token. Why is that in well, there? Well, I mean, because you can open any prison door, can't you? I can't wait to meet the interesting, interested party. Also, how is this guy going to arrange a meeting? He's he's d very much in incapacitated. I love leaking the information is just- Telling the coral snakes. Tell, yeah, not only that, tell the one of the coral snakes that is in prison right now. I don't understand, I'm here on the map. Well, you're not quite there. Down and right a little bit. Ah, I bet it's this, this or looks Or perhaps it. that door. Hello? Is there two of them? Yeah, I think it's decoys. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh shit, what do we do? I mean, if this wasn't something we were supposed to consider, why would she even be here in the first place? Like, weren't we supposed to give her, give them a fake location? Oh, do we, do we support it or oppose it? It might make it more dangerous for us, but like, I feel like we're more in control. Like, we can always stop anything bad happening. Okay, well, the, if she's gonna guard her, then it's not even our fault if anything bad happens. She just said I'm that. Not, I'm not sure that's entirely the case. I think it absolutely is. Hello, come. It's a weird name. Are you just... <laughs> the door is also open. Hello, it's me. Come. Would you come? Wait, Hi, the... I am come. <laughs> the door is open. Like, I don't understand. Is she just stood to the left? Maybe she doesn't know if we're in- maybe she just wants to be sure. Unmask the mastermind. Okay. Sure. I mean, surely the mastermind wouldn't just come though, right? Go on. Kill her. This does feel very- do it. I was literally about to say that. <laughs> yeah, it does feel like very- <laughs> Are you just it, it, looking at her like, excuse me? Yes, yes, kill her. Go on, Anna. I doubt this is the mastermind, right? They will have sent, like, a proxy. Yeah, like, that's what I've been saying. Like, surely she's, uh, not the one behind it. The Empress is not really asleep, right? Why is she Like, shuffling? she even said when she got here, I'm just here to confirm her identity. But then she also asked you to kill her. I don't know who to attack. Maybe if you cast Galvanize, just make it look like you're casting a spell. Just like, ooh, I'm killing her. Ooh, I might be killing the Empress. Ooh, I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I don't know who to attack. That is far enough. What? Oh, okay. I just put my staff out. What are you talking about? Well, I, want, well, I wouldn't want you to attack me. I feel like I just got LOL JK. It turns out this is actually an undercover operation by other ones of the guards. With what display you've heard? My I was just going to aim at both of you in turn and have like a decision making process of who I'm blasting. That's far enough. The fact that you would draw a weapon in the presence of the Empress. <laughs> The flames of revolution will burn eternal. Okay, maybe she's more behind this than we thought. <laughs> she just rises like so, yeah. so, just so slowly. Up. It's the fact that she's slowly pulling herself off of the bed too. Oh, you were outside? How are you protecting the Empress from there? And she's gone, I guess. What? Oh no, she's there. Well, she just sat down. Yeah, she's not even like a handcuffed or she's just like hands on her knees like, this is unfortunate, I've been arrested. You used your lantern, master. We're in a brightly lit room. What are you talking about? Perhaps it's lantern time. Is the Empress herself saying, we do not believe that Batal would be best served by a martyred Empress? I mean, yeah, no shit, <laughs> you're saying that. 
<laughs> you know, I get what she's saying, but I don't think killing the Empress, who is me, is the right decision, guys. I just think, as a country, it would be bad for us. <laughs> Okay. Just so everyone's on the same page here. Oh, how do I get back up these stupid rocks? By being a mage. A sorcerer, thank you. Well, what you're doing is being a mage. Shut up, kitten. What? I said shut up, cotton. That's not what you said. But yeah, I like shot it like kitten. Yeah, you shortened it like calling me kitten. Oh, kid. Shut up, kitten. Well, I didn't agree to this pet name. So I didn't realize you have to have like a formal good application for a new name. Well, you do when it's like that. Oh, cotton's been on some journeys. I swear to God, if you've gone and contracted more, more plague, sir. Oh my God! Port crystal? Thank you! Holy okay. shit! Thank you so much, Jester! Wow! That's nice. Yeah, okay. Right. And, and a fish. Fish is also as good, you know, really. Yeah, all right. Thank you. That's incredible. It's, it seems like a bit much. Well, what a lovely day. Who doesn't love a good bit of desert rain? All right, then, guys. Another Empress Plop the Assassin taken care of it just just every day with these people we're really good at this but now though like you've enjoyed this also just the whole subscribe and hit the bell for more consider supporting the future channel on patreon down below and until we meet again a oh god bye goodbye josh cotton and hollow with the videos dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment yes i said entertainment twice to reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye